Okay, I'm making a little video to help people find the Maltemi house, Maltemi pool villa in La Hanya. So, on the road you see the turn off for La Hanya village. We're going to take this turn and this will take us up the hill into the village. There's garbage disposable on, disposable on the junction here if you need it. It's a very, very beautiful area. Lots of nature, lots of farming. And we're just going to follow the road here from the main road up towards the village. There's some new developments on the road, some new houses and things. Not exactly what I would choose for style, but each to their own. We like to do things a little bit more traditionally with our houses. At the moment it's now uh, it's the middle of June and we're at 11 o'clock in the morning, it's 29 degrees Celsius, it's very comfortable, a very nice day. Um, we didn't have a lot of rain this spring so you can see everything's quite brown already. Usually we have maybe one month extra rain, we missed that this year and uh, yeah you can see the difference now. Okay, so just as we get up here the road actually continues and you have the priority there's also another road comes in from the right that's actually a road that becomes a dirt road and that goes all through the nature and uh, comes out near Yenardi it's actually quite beautiful if you go slowly and carefully so now we're starting to drive in towards the village the village is to the left down there and then we're just going to carry on here and we go along through, we come towards, um, there's two tavernas, uh, one from Papa Yorgos, which is on the uh, left, and then there's Chris's taverna on the right. There's also a small supermarket. I'll give you an idea of where these are, just as soon as we get close to them. This concrete truck doesn't appear to want to go a lot faster than he is. So yeah, the village is all down below you to the left here, the old village with the old traditional houses. Very, very beautiful to walk in in the evening. So here we have the two Tavernas. There's Chris's there, and then there's Papa Yorgos, next to the cement truck. Okay, now here where you see the sign for supermarket on the wall, we're turning up to the right. So we're going up this road. boy on a motorbike blocking the way but he's going to move okay so we're just going between these houses and then we swing around to the left and immediately to the right and this is a stone road so just drive slowly and carefully and then you'll see on the tree there's a little sign that says Maltemi and then we turn in here and this is the Maltemi house at the end with the parking uh, at the end as well, just after the house. Okay, so I hope this helps you and uh, enjoy your time in Rodos.